Hey everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play project. A project that has been very highly requested and something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. Welcome to Let's Play Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, the remake of the GBA version of Friends of Mineral Town, one of my favorite games of all time. It's been like nine years since I did the original project on this game, and you know what? The second I heard about this game, I knew immediately that I was going to play through it. Like I said before, Friends of Mineral Town is one of my favorite games of all time, and any more, any chance I get to replay it again, I will take. But in terms of what this game adds, for one thing it does have a completely new art style, which is honestly kind of hit or miss. Some of the characters look a lot better in this version of the game, but some don't look as good. But we'll get to that once we actually start going around meeting characters. But yeah, in terms of how this LP will be structured, I'm basically going to follow the same structure as my original LP. Two years. We are going to do as much as we possibly can within two years. At the end of year two, we will see where we stand. But yeah, let's get started, shall we? Before we start anything, though, let's look at options. There aren't any. Great. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty faithful remake of Friends of Mineral Town with some stuff from more Friends of Mineral Town added in. And obviously all the GBA connectivity stuff is just unlocked by default now. But first things first, unlike the original, we can just straight up choose if we want to be a boy or a girl. We are going to pick a boy. I was considering maybe doing the new style of the boy model, but you know what? We have to go with the original. It's a classic for a reason. And in terms of skin tone, hmm, I'm debating between one of these two. My actual skin tone's kind of in between. It's a bit closer to the darker skin tone, but let's just go with the default for now. You know what, we'll go with the default skin tone. Also, my name is not Pete. Obviously, my name isn't Pete. And my birthday is... I always pick my normal birth... My real birthday is June 3rd. So I always pick Summer 3 for my birthday. It's a tradition at this point. Also, unlike the original, we do have two difficulty choices. We can either go Simple Mode, which is... We get a bunch of money starting out. I think it's like 10000 or something. I only played a little bit of Simple Mode. Uh, item sell for a bit more. People are easier to befriend. But I'm not doing that. We're going full normal mode. Because simple mode is way too easy. Or starts off way too easy. So, let's go. Also, there is DLC for costumes, but I never bothered with that. But yeah, the second I booted up this game and heard this music, a wave of nostalgia just washed over me. I have so many good memories of Friends of Mineral Town. And I think a lot of people do, judging by like the reaction that people had when this game was announced and was actually released. But yeah, the new art style is a lot more cartoony than the original. I kind of do like it though. It does fit the atmosphere of the game. Also, I just love that Tom just has so big it doesn't fit on screen anymore. But yep, just like every Story of Seasons game, this one does start off with a dead grandfather. Which is something they changed from the original. In the original English version, at least, uh, you basically just wandered onto this farm during a vacation and just spent the summer here. In this version, we didn't get to go on vacation with our family. Instead, we just spent the uh, summer with our grandfather on his farm. And we didn't get a choice in the matter, but you know what? That does sound fun. But we spent one happy summer on the farm, riding cows, falling off cows, playing with horses, playing with chickens, being attacked by chickens, and fishing. Lots of fishing. And 
we even made ourselves a little friend while we were out here. But yeah, obviously we eventually came back to Mineral Town. It only took us, like, how long did it take us? 20 years! It took us 20 years to come back here. Oops. Probably should have come out here more often. But yeah, do we want to be a farmer? On the one hand, we don't really know much about farming. On the other hand, if we say no, it's an instant game over. So you know what? Yes. We're taking this free farm. And we get to name it. So, I was thinking of what to name this uh, farm. There's the obvious default, or default, there's the obvious name of farm farm that I usually use, but... I think the title of this game in Japan is Reunion at Mineral Town, and you know what? This is basically the ultimate reunion, especially for my videos, so... Welcome to Reunion Farm. That's how you spell it, right? Yeah, that's correct. Goodbye, Thomas. But, we're back, everyone. Mineral Town. Alright, so before we do anything, let's explore the house. Also, one thing this game did change a little bit. For some reason, we start off at 10 a.m. on the on a day one. Which is kind of annoying, but we'll get into that later. So our basic house is a bit more expanded than our original house in the uh, first game. For one thing, we have a mirror here, which we can use right now. So yeah, we can basically change the out our outfit anytime we want. And since I did pre-order this game, I do get a couple of bonus outfits that I could wear, but we're not going to wear those right now. We're just going to stick with the blue overalls for now. I'll probably change clothes without the LP. We, got ourselves, we start off with storage in this game, and we start off with a lot more inventory space than before, which is, honestly, I love it. As much as I love the original, inventory in that game was an absolute pain to deal with. And just having a bunch more inventory space and easier to manage stuff is just much better in my opinion. We also have a little table and counter over here we can put stuff on. And we have our television. So with the TV we can look up the weather. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Oops. Uh, the education channel is basically just a... It's a tutorial. We don't really need to worry about it too much so I'm just going to skip that. Entertainment changes every day. Today is Monday? Yeah, today is Monday. So we have the fishing uh, channel. Or sh fishing show. I think these are like just straight up taken from the original word for word. Well, actually, no. Everything in this game has, for the most part, been retranslated. So all the typos and weird stuff from the original are kind of gone. So this basically just tells you, like, what type of fish are going to be in the ocean. Entertainment is... Oh, wait, that's what I just looked at. News just basically tells you what festivals are coming up. Uh, Spring Derby on the 18th and Cooking Exhibition on the 22nd. Got it. Over here we have our calendar. We can just look up the calendar now. As we meet people, their birthdays are just going to automatically put, be put on here. So it's good to check in on this every once in a while. And we can just scroll through all the seasons now. And we can save at our journal. Or just anywhere through the menu. And over here is our toolbox. We start off with four tool slots. And then we get a four... Or what was it? We get eight more as we get more bags. So let's grab our tools right now. One thing I want to grab immediately is my pedometer. There is an achievement in this game that you get for getting 10 million steps on your pedometer. Which I think someone did the math on and that's like 60 hours of in-game running. We're probably not going to be getting that achievement. But I'm at least going to keep this on me at all times. I want to see just how many steps we get by the end. And then we can grab three more tools. I want my hoe and my watering can. Oh, I should probably also grab the sickle. Alright, let's get out of here. Time to get to work. I know more than you. Yep, so 
so yeah, first things first, we need to go grab some seeds. That's like my main priority today, is to start getting everything planted and going. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's just your pedometer. I already have that. Alright, so before we head to town, I do want to take a quick look around the farm. Right after we have a shipping tutorial. Hi, Zach. Zach's new art style, I kind of like it. The eyes are a bit weird, though. But he's just going to explain shipping in this game. All we need to do is throw things in the shipping bin by five. Also, yeah, don't ship on Sunday or not shut Sundays. Uh, yeah, don't ship on holidays, basically. Yep, whatever we throw in there, we get money for. Also, don't knock yourself out. That's just a good rule of thumb no matter what you're doing. Alright, so, shall we get started? Let's go. So one thing that is a bit different is our tree over here. It's a fruit tree. So basically, there are a bunch of different fruit trees we can plant. They'll just randomly drop fruit during the uh, seasons they grow. And sometimes there'll be honey in the tree. So that's handy. Over here is our house, and in this game, there's actually a toolbox right in front of our house that we can just access at, access at any time. It's actually really handy to actually switch tools outside instead of having to go inside every single time. Uh, we got our mailbox. Alright, just an ad for the workshop. We'll see him later. Our fish- or our fishing pond. Okay, no, yeah, it is a fish pond now. Basically, as we catch fish, we can throw them in here to store. I don't think I've ever bothered with the, actually using this before. But this is also where we get water to water our crops with. Over here is our stable. We don't have a horse yet, so it's empty. Over here is our barn. Also, in this game, we have bells. So moving animals in and out of barns and chicken coops is infinitely easier in this game. To the point where... It might be a little bit too easy, but at the same time, I'm just really happy I don't have to push animals anymore. But yep, this is our barn. It's where we're going to keep our sheep, cows, and new to this game, alpacas. But we'll worry about that once we actually have money, because we start off with 500 gold and that's it. This is our field. Also, we have a little bit of grass planted in the, this game. Grass works a little bit differently in this game. Unlike the original, grass doesn't regrow in this game. Instead, it just kind of spreads if you just leave it alone. So you just need to really plant one thing and just let it spread all over the place. I kind of like it, honestly. Over here is our chicken coop. Same as before, we can have four chickens at uh, the beginning. Once we upgrade it, we can have eight. Also new to this game are rabbits. They also live in the chicken coop for some reason. Which makes it not really a chicken coop, it's just a coop now. And there's a bell here. But yeah, that's basically our farm. It's not too complicated and not too different from the original. But you know what? It's simple enough and I like it. So, shall we head to town? We're probably not gonna- oh wait, no, before we head to town there is actually one really important thing I need to do. This is something that's kind of new to this game, and it's something that we need to remember to do every single day. We want to head over to the Harvest Goddess Spring, which is over here. And we want to throw something in. Basically, in this game, we want to make sure that every single day, we want to throw something into the Harvest Goddess Spring. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as she doesn't hate it. This is actually extremely important that we can start that early and do it every day. Anyways, shall we head to town? Oh, also before we head to town, we can take a quick look at the map. So yeah, overall the layout of Mineral Town is basically the same. There are a couple of new things, which we'll get into. But for now, let's just run into town. Because I want to make it to the supermarket and then come back with time to spare. 
So one new thing about Mineral Town, this is south, uh, southern part of Mineral Town, by the way, is that there's this little, like, weird park area over here. This is basically where we're going to be mostly getting our wood and stone. Because, yeah, in this game, material stone is a thing we need to gather. It's not just lumber anymore. So we'll be coming here a lot. It's also a little shortcut between the southern part and northern part of town. Anyways, off to the supermarket. So yeah, one thing about this game that pe have people are a bit split on is the different portraits for everyone. Some people I do like them. Like, I like Marie's. She used to be Mary, but she was renamed to Marie. A lot of the there have been a bunch of name changes just because the uh, X seed is now localizing the game instead of Natsume. So the names are more accurate to what they were in the original version. But yeah, for the most part, I do kind of like the upgrades. I think Karen looks a lot cuter in this version. And, uh, honestly, it looks almost exactly the same, just a bit different. But yeah, both Marie and Karen here are marriage candidates. You can tell by the little pulsing gray heart there. In terms of marriage, though, I do have some ideas of who I want to marry. But I'll figure that out later. Also, Jeff looks a bit different. I don't know if I like Jeff. I kind of like Jeff's outfit better in this version. It was kind of weird in the original version where he was, like, wearing a suit. Anyways, so we have 500 gold. I want to buy... Hmm. We don't have a ton of money to work with here. One thing I do want to buy is I want to grab... One cucumber. I want to get these planted as soon as possible because they regrow. And then I think I'm going to grab one... You know what? We'll grab one potato and one turnip. Alright, we'll get those planted once we get back. But yeah, starting out on normal mode, we don't have a ton of money to work with, so we should probably be a bit careful about buying stuff. So, shall we head back? I think tomorrow we'll actually go around town and start introducing ourselves to everyone in town and going to all the different buildings and businesses. For now though, today I just want to get everything settled on the farm. Alright, let's do this. So first things first, let's get rid of these weeds. I want to clear up some space. So I have three bags of seeds in this game. Oh hey, yellow grass. That's going to be handy. Also, one other thing about this game, item stack, which is a huge thing. So you don't have to worry about, like, single stacks of everything now. Item stack up to nine in this game. But yeah, a lot of the changes in this game are just simple quality of life improvements that have just occurred throughout the series over the last couple of years. But yep, yeah, now we can gather material stone. All right. Oh, I don't have my uh, hoe with me. So let's get some stuff planted. So just like the original, plants are planted in a 3x3 three three, uh, square. So we're going to need three squares. So that's one. Also, one other thing about this game that's good to know early on. You can run on top of your crops now. So we don't have to worry about leaving gaps everywhere. Also in this game, we can actually see our stamina in the upper uh, left corner there. So how stamina works in this game is actually a little bit different than other games. So unlike other games, once our stamina runs out, that doesn't mean we immediately get knocked out. Also, yeah, I don't have anything to sell, Zach. It's my first day. I can't afford chickens right now. I can barely afford turnip seeds. Anyways, these are going to be cucumbers. These are going to be potatoes. And these are going to be turnips. But yeah, like I was saying before, once your stamina runs out, that does not mean you immediately just get knocked out whenever you try to do anything. In this game, you also have what's known as fatigue. Oh, I'm out of water. So basically, once our stamina runs out, we're going to start using up fatigue, or we're we'll starting to building up fatigue. Which is represented by our little uh, happy face in the corner there. Basically, once we accumulate enough fatigue, we'll just get knocked out. 
So yeah, we do have a little bit of a buffer between running out of stamina and just passing out from overwork. We're gonna try to avoid getting knocked down this game. But let's get everything watered. But yeah, we're gonna need to make a lot of money really quickly if I want to unlock everything. So I think in terms of my major goals right now, my first major goal, I want to buy a chicken. I need 3,000 gold to buy a chicken. Also, I have two stamina left. Nice. You know what? Let's uh, work a little bit longer. We can take it. I want to start gathering lumber as soon as possible as well, because I think the lumber cost of items has gone up compared to the original. Okay, yeah. See, we're out of stamina right now, and you can see the face in the corner is starting to change a bit as we build up more and more fatigue. I'm going to work a little bit longer, but then we're going to head to bed. Actually, you know what? Let's head to bed right now. I don't want to overwork myself on my first day. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Nice. Alright, I think it's time for bed. Also, at the end of every day, you do get a little summary of how much you earned that day. I earned zero gold. That came out weird. I had no money, basically. That's fine. Early on, it might be good to just go to the mountains and start grabbing stuff to sell. Also, yeah, since we went to bed a bit later than usual, we didn't start off with full stamina. We want to probably go to bed around 7 or 8 every day if we want to start with full stamina. At least until we can get ourselves a kitchen and make our own food. Once we can start making food, stamina won't be that big of an issue. But anyways, oh, before we head out. Let's also make sure that we put away our items. So yeah, we can have a bunch of storage space now. There's no, like, lumber bin anymore. Instead, it's just kind of stored on this uh, cabinet. Also, this used to be Wong. Er, Wong? Wan. Now his name is Hong. I do like his redesign a bit better, just because his old design was a bit... problematic. Ooh, rare seeds, you say? I would get some, except for the fact that I'm poor right now. But yeah, we're gonna go meet Hong later. We're gonna want to befriend him as soon as possible, though, for a very good reason. But we'll worry about that later once we can actually go explore the town a bit. Bye, Hong. Alright. But yeah, with that, this might actually be a good place to end the episode. Because, yeah, we got everything set up and the farm is pretty good to go now. So I think next time on Let's Play Harvest... Sorry. Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. That's going to be a really hard habit to break. We're going to go introduce ourselves to everyone in town. And then we're going to see who we've decided that we're going to marry. So, till then.